hi dear students in in my last lecture i discussed uh, the piece wise continuous function and in this lecture we will discuss a very important topic domain and range uh, many of students are uh, uh, very confused when they have to find uh, domain and range of any given function so in this lecture we will just discuss the domain and range of the function before start the domain and range of the function we just revise our definition of function uh, dear students, uh, in my first lecture, I already defined uh, the definition of function such as f is a function from x to y. Then I have some example, uh, I take some example uh, of function that let's suppose uh, the set x have the elements 1, 2, 3 and set y have the elements a, b, c. Then f is a function of x to y if every element of set x have a unique image in set y. So that's why the, uh, here f is a function from x to y. So, dear students, uh, we already uh, I already mentioned our input uh, the set x set x is also say as input set and set y is also say as uh, output set. But when we study domain and range of the function, then we are, are also say as the set the input set the input value set is a domain of our function f and the output set y is a range of our fu uh, function f so uh, here x is x is domain set of f and y is range set of f yeah or or we say that uh, no we we say that domain of f or range of f so it's very easy to understand when we take this example of uh, when with this definition of function but uh, when we take uh, some algebraic expressions or mathematical formulas some restrictions are imposed on domain and range so in this lecture we discuss the the, the restrictions we just dis, uh, discuss the restrictions uh, or to find domain and range but in in our next lecture we will discuss how to find the domain and range so my this topic is i divide my this topic into two parts so in this part we just uh, understand uh, the restrictions and domain and range so dear students here is also a notation of uh, uh, to write a function let's suppose the input value is x the function is f and the output is f of x and uh, we already discussed in our previous lecture uh, we say as our input equal to some another variable say as y so y is equal to f of x here y is output and f of x is in uh, f of x is also output but x here x is a input value so when we discuss the domain and range of the function then a word comes in our mind uh, which values are allowable for uh, our function the al allowable inputs so to understand which values are allowable for domain for input values there are two restrictions and these restrictions are two types of uh, especially two types of expressions first is uh, first algebraic expressions which includes division dividing term and second is which includes a square root term so to understand the first term the first restriction on the expression which is in the form of division 1 over x dear students when we study this uh, when we discuss this uh, example which is 1 over x so uh, uh, set uh, we can we have to put the uh, we have to give input inputs in this function from set of real numbers from set of real numbers then for x is equals to 0 our output becomes undefined because here you will see that when we put uh, y is equal to 1 over 0 our answer is infinite which is undefined so then y becomes undefined so uh, we cannot allow we cannot allow uh, the input values which makes our expression become becomes undefined we cannot allow those values to input which makes our expressions as undefined so these inputs are not be the part of our domain so uh, uh, domain of y is equal to 1 over x is set of all real number except 0 because on 0 
for for zero it give us undefined when we uh, when we uh, without zero uh, our uh, without zero it give us a very uh, defined answer so that's why our domain is set of real number except zero and also i mentioned a range of this function but how i can find it i will discuss in my next video uh, here we just discuss about the restrictions on domain dear students uh, there are some restrictions on uh, on on expressions in which are includes uh, square root terms uh, which are include square root terms say as y is equal to square root x so in this expression the second restriction is on those expression or mathematical formulas which includes the under root term in this expression we have to make sure that under the square root sign always be positive answer it give us always be positive answer we have to give those those inputs which uh, makes our uh, expression under the square root is positive we cannot allow here uh, the our expression becomes negative term under the negative value under the square root because when uh, when let's suppose for x is equal to minus 1 let's suppose for uh, for x is equals to minus 1 for x is equals to for x is equals to minus 1 minus 1 uh, then y is equals to minus 1 so it means it is a iota it's a complex number but we but, it, it, but we have to we have to care about we, we cannot allow uh, our uh, in, in square root in square root the, the negative value we cannot allow uh, the negative value under the square root because it becomes a complex numbers complex numbers but we have to work in just real number because we give uh, we give the input values from set of real numbers then our outputs also should be a set of from set of real numbers for this is so for, uh, so for this uh, our uh, uh, we cannot uh, put the negative values in this expression so uh, the domain of this expression is uh, domain of this expression is a uh, set of all uh, all be positive real numbers positive real numbers uh, and range is also when we put positive numbers then it give us also positive numbers then range is also a positive uh, real numbers uh, but uh, uh, in my last uh, in my next lecture we will discuss more how we can find the domain and range of different expressions in this lecture we just uh, discuss the restrictions on uh, on on uh, two type of expressions first is in a division form second is in a square root forms uh, in in division form uh, we are care about our expression uh, should be defined for uh, for all values should be defined we are not uh, taken any value uh, uh, such as uh, which make as our expression is undefined and second section is, is on uh, under root terms square root terms our square uh, under the square root uh, the values should be a uh, positive there are two restrictions uh, to find the domain and range of the function in dear students in my next lecture i will discuss the example and i will discuss how can i find this uh, range and uh, and uh, and many more examples uh, thank you for watching my videos and uh, if it's uh, informative for you then subscribe my channel and press the icon button uh, thank you for watching